There was a time when I tried to build funnel walls on every base because I heard it was meta. It had to be good because everyone said it was meta, right? Well, I tried and tried, but I didn't really make single good funnel wall. They either cost too much or were bad other ways. After a while I realized that I was in a bubble and funnel walls were only a main scheme thing. Never build the traditional funnel wall because they cost a lot and people just climb over them. Nobody really goes through the funnels. In most cases mini china wall or wide cap china wall are a cheaper and better option. However, there are a couple ways you can use funnel walls that actually work and I'm going to go over them. Little disclaimer before we continue with the video, neither of these bases are mine and I will put uh, links to these bases in the description. Number 1. Pancake ring on top of a funnel wall. Not only is this a funnel wall, but this also has a pancake ring. It offers a lot more peaks and especially defenses back to the base than normal funnel wall or mini channel wall. This can also be a cheaper op option than traditional pancake base. This way you get a lot more value to your cost. Now how this actually works is that you have the funnel here. Um, how the pancake ring is created is by closing the funnel with small gaps. So uh, when you close this pancake ring off, uh, your gaps shouldn't be very big and you shouldn't fall through them. So there is a door here so that you don't fall through this and this uh, gap is a lot smaller. And you have a little shooting floor type uh, gaps here. So uh, basically you just need to be able to close it so that you can't fall through. Uh, it also works like this, but uh, it's worse like this. So just make sure that you line up the foundations so that you have the pancake ring fully closed off like this. Then what comes to the actual funnel, um, I suggest that you have a, at least one shotgun trap that is not closed by the doors. Since if your doors are closed like this, uh, somebody forgets them or something, uh, raiders can just uh, run through the funnel without getting killed. So make sure you have at least one or two shotgun traps that will kill the raiders if the doors are closed. And, well, I don't see much um, point having doors here, uh, anyway. Um, I guess they work uh, as a little cover, and if somebody dies here, you can close the, or, or open the door and you have a little cover, so you can loot them or anything like that. But, just make sure that you have at least one shotgun trap there. If you want to learn more about pancakes and pancake rings, Check out this video, it explains them uh, much better than I explained them here. Number 2. Funnel Shell Basically in this case the funnel works as uh, entrance to your base. Um, the funnel shell gives also opportunities for inner peaks and outer peaks at the same time. So you can make your shooting floor much more cost efficient than normal one. Then also funnel shells give opportunities for sneaky bunkers like this. However, um, these kind of bunkers are possible to make uh, in initial, but uh, here, for example, it works pretty nicely and uh, gives you a chance to get a really sneaky bunker. Also, with the shotgun traps here, I think it's a small problem that th this doesn't have any uh, shotgun trap that covers the funnel. Uh, however, there is one when you come through it, through this fully, but as you can see, you can shoot them from far away and it can be a little problem. So here I would maybe just uh, don't have this door here and have this door always open. So maybe that works a little bit better, at least for me, but you do you. And what comes to the shooting floor? I wouldn't uh, multi TC or wall stack um, this part of the base. However, it is wall stacked uh, in this case since you have the bunker here. Um, that creates a problem uh, here where you need a siren light so you don't fall through it. 
so if you want a little bit better shooting floor I don't have multi TC here or wall stack and just try to make the gaps so that you don't need uh, siren lights uh, to not fall through so that's uh, one point you want to keep on uh, keep in mind and here also we can see that we have this nice peak back to the base that also helps a lot um, with the covering the shell since these peaks don't really show um, below here so that one is a nice one now also in this funnel shell you need to make sure that people can't uh, climb through the gap here uh, on top of the funnel so have some kind of barricade here and for example there's a door here so that you can't get into the shooting floor and yeah as to close off the video I believe that there's no room for traditional funnel walls anymore and people should just start combining it with other things to make it have more value for the cost.